Hello, my name is Don Shank, Digital Evangelist with Red Hat. In this short video, I will demonstrate how to use the OpenShift installer on a Windows PC in order to create an OpenShift 4 cluster on Amazon Web Services, or AWS. There are two sources or websites that are used to make this video. The first is this one, try.openshift.com, where you can get all the information and software bits necessary to run the developer preview for OpenShift 4 using Linux or Mac OS. The second source is a blog post that I recently wrote detailing how to tweak the Linux instructions so that you can use your Windows PC and PowerShell instead. The trick, if you will, is to use the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL, in combination with some knowledge about the file system and the PowerShell console. For starters, I've installed the OpenShift installer in my WSL terminal session. In this case, it doesn't matter which version of Linux you use. You can use the Fedora Remix for Linux if you want, or any of the free ones. I followed the instructions on the try.openshift.com website in combination with the instructions on my blog post. So at this point, I have the OpenShift install program installed on my Windows subsystem for Linux. So I can go ahead and create my cluster on Amazon. I've already gone and, and populated all the default values. So I'm just mashing through this. I have a pull secret that I copied and pasted to my clipboard. So as soon as I hit enter, it'll start creating the cluster. That takes about 25 or 30 minutes. When it's fun, finished, we'll come back. Now that the cluster has been created, there's one particular thing we need to make a note of. There's an environment variable called kubeconfig that the logon will use to, for credentials. Right now, the instructions are to use export, which is a Linux command. What I wanna do is copy that file over to somewhere on my C drive that I can use from PowerShell. I can just access it through the subdirectories that are set up for Linux, but I'd rather copy it because I don't want to risk corrupting the file. So I created a little script called to win, which does just that. It copies it from home, username, auth, into the file path that's on the Windows side, so to speak. So the slash MNT slash C is the Linux equivalent of the C root directory. And then I just created a directory called OCP for AWS. So I copy the file there. So if I go over here and go to my root directory, and I should have an OCP for AWS directory. And if I look inside, I should see the file. And there it is. Now I have to set the environment variable on the Windows side. So using PowerShell, I do kubeconfig equals, and then what? Well, C OCP for AWS and the kubeconfig file. And now I'm ready to log in. So I can log in as user is cube admin. And the password is back over here also in the Linux side. So if I copy that and go over and paste it, I should be able to log in. And there you have it. I'm logged in to my OpenShift cluster after creating it in the Windows subsystem for Linux. Now I can do everything a .NET developer or Windows developer would do, but from PowerShell. Thank you.